Hey guys, it's Angie, and I have a big announcement today that I want to share with you. So thanks for being here, and let's get right to it. So as most of you know, I have been selling on eBay for over 20 years. Most of that time, I have been part-time. And in part-time, what I mean is I've had another job that was my full-time income eBay then was the extra money that I spent for travel, for entertainment, and to get out of debt. But you know what they say, life sometimes happens when you least expect it. So today, I quit my job. Going into my 8 a.m. meeting this morning, I had no intentions of quitting. And by 9 o'clock, <laughs> it was all over. So, such is life. But you know, life seems to do that to us when we least expect things happen in your life that throws you a curveball and you have to just roll with it. So I'm looking at it as a great opportunity and I hope that it will be. I really plan on upping my game. I could spend all of my time concentrating on eBay now, sourcing and listing. And big things are gonna be coming for the channel because I'm gonna have so much more content because I'm gonna be doing so much more sourcing. So that's a good thing. I'm freaking out. Okay, I'm freaking out. And oh my gosh, look at me. I, my hair is not done, I have no makeup on. This is it, you're getting just real me freak out zone. I don't even know what to say. I'm like, ugh. I cried. I cried a, a lot today. I got angry, I got worried, and now I'm like, okay, I can do this. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing this for years. I just have to do it on a little bit bigger scale and it's gonna be fine. <laughs> this could be a very iffy plan for a lot of people if you aren't prepared. Luckily, I have a great supportive family in that they are all very much involved in my eBay business. I have an eBay business already in place, luckily, and I'm debt free. So I'm super happy that you're here, you got to hear the announcement, what's going on with me, and let the games begin. I also want to talk to you about what sold for me over the weekend. Just, I think I picked like 14 items that are interesting and I'll tell you why I picked them up and why I think they sold. Okay, the first item that sold were Speedos. <laughs> These are new Speedos, but let me tell you, I have got several pairs of Speedos and every single one of them have sold in a very short period of time. So don't overlook new Speedos when you see them. Even the little tiny sizes for me have sold. So definitely pick those up when you see them. Another thing is when you have an old printer that just stops working for you, don't just throw that sucker away. Part it out. This is my old Office Jet printer. It is the paper tray, as you can see. I put it on eBay for $24.95 and it sold in a few weeks. Luckily, it only weighs about a pound. I will put it in a priority mailbox, but still, I'm gonna make $15 on an old beat down printer. Doesn't work anymore. And this is about one of five parts that I pulled off. So I'll end up making about what the printer is worth by the time I'm done parting it out. If you ever see Saxon, Saxon Math, Saxon Phonics, it's a great program, mostly for homeschoolers, though some private schools use Saxon. This is a lot of readers. The Fo Saxon Phonics is a newer program. I happened to k pick these up at Crazy Cat's Voice for a dollar. I did take a best offer of $40. They were brand new, but it only took about two weeks for those to sell for 40 bucks. And they're just little kid readers, so that's a really good pickup. Never pass by Saxon, they do really well. I don't pick up very many jeans, but Rockin' Republic still seems to sell really well. These ones sold for me for $19.95. Another item I always say part out are vacuum parts. Now, this is for a shark vacuum. Doesn't look like much, right? $6.95, but I parted out everything else from this vacuum already. This was the last piece left. So a $6.95 part, probably added to all the other parts, probably came to about $80. And I think I spent 
$2 for all of them. This bag I got at the bins. I think it's Bokier. Bokier. Okay. I have no idea. But I thought it was super, super cool. Boho 70s looking. It doesn't have a long strap. It has like a short shoulder strap. But it just has that super, super worn in leather. And I did show it has a couple little spots there on the very bottom. But just love it. It looks like a bag that has been around for years and years. And it sold for $29.95. I paid under $2 because it was at the bins. And I think I only had it on there for about three weeks or so. Then, this doesn't look like anything great, right? This Redken Chromatics, it's hair dye, permanent hair dye. I've been getting these at the Crazy Cows Boys. But look here, guys, 10 sold. This particular order was for six of these. So I paid $6, dollar a piece, and it went into $72 that the buyer paid. It's gonna ship in a priority padded flat rate, and that's amazing profit. That's $6 into 60 profit is what I'll make. So I'll take those all day long. Summer's coming up. If you find little sandals, they still sell, especially if you can find them cheap. Now, I thought these, when I first saw them, that they were worn. You see that? It looks like it's like chopped up, but it's not. It's actually an animal print on there. It, if, but if I didn't know better, I would have said that they were all chewed up. But I made sure I explained that in the listing. But it's not. It's just the animal print on the ties that make it look like that. They only sold for $11 plus shipping. But hey, I paid a buck. Plush, even in February, winter plush will sell. Now he only sold for $10, bucks, but he cost $13, $12.85 for shipping. He went to Pennsylvania, so it didn't cost quite that much for shipping. I was happy to get rid of him because he was a little bit bulky. Don't be afraid to list your Christmas items off season because surprisingly, lots of people look for Christmas items all year long. When I found this, I thought it was a super cool jacket. I almost wanted to keep it. It just looks really cool. Mm, I did it. I put it on here. But it sold for $14.95 plus shipping. Jillian and Nicole, never even heard of them, but I got this at my little honey hole thrift store here in Pensacola and it was a quarter. Can't be that. It's swimsuit time, so make sure if you have swimsuits to list, you're getting those on there. This little one is from last year. It didn't sell last year, but it's on there now and it sold for $12.95 plus shipping. This is something I picked up from Crazy Cast Boys. It's one of those invisible hinges that go, you know, on the inside of the door and when you open it, you can see the hinge. I didn't really know much about it, but I looked it up. I always say if you see something unique that you don't see every day, take a minute to look it up. I did, and this one was selling really well. It sold for $22.95 in less than a week. Now, I will tell you, that thing was heavy. Don't know what the heck they put in that hinge, but it was over a pound. So it ended up having to go priority padded flat rate, but still, I still made like $14 on that sale. Next item that I sold were these cute vans. I top vans do really well, but I won't, the reason I wanted to show you this is I thought it was funny. And I made myself, myself smaller for a reason. Look at this picture right here. I cleaned one of the shoes and I didn't clean the other, but when I took the picture, uh, they're both clean now, but I'm like, I'm surprised they weren't like, oh, what is wrong with those shoes? They're both clean, but oh lord, I don't know what I was thinking. Another item you can pick up super cheap a lot of places are Vanity Fair slips or nightgowns, things like that. Usually you can get them dirt cheap at yard sales and things. Make sure you're checking those out. This one I had on there just um, about two weeks when I listed it and it sold for full price $12.95 plus shipping. But when you have a quarter into something, that's a great profit. Definitely go for that. Then the final item I wanted to show you is this sad little longa burger basket. It had the little leather straps cut off. You can see on the right side there. And I say that in the listings. I took a best offer of $7.50. 
that's okay because I found this little basket at my little honey hole thrift store for 25 cents. Uh, and that was not even a markdown price. That was just the price they put on it. So obviously they didn't know it was a longer burger basket because I think that was just their price for baskets. But Hey, I'll take $7.50. I don't normally pick up Longaburger anymore because really, it's kind of like LuLaRoe. It was in for a while really big and now it's out. For 25 cents, I can't pass up a deal like that. So there it is. It has a new home and I'm super happy. All right, guys, that's it. Hopefully, we're going to have lots more sales coming up because the next thing I'm going to start as of Monday is a listing challenge and I'd love for you to be a part of it too. More details later this week, but I think I'm going to be doing a minimum of 20 listings every single day. We're going to chart it on a board, see who gets to the end and makes it with me. Not saying you have to do 20 listings, but setting your own goals of what you would like to do for the month. <sighs> Was your Monday is crazy, hectic, stressful. Yeah. Was your Monday like that too? <laughs> well, here we are guys. You and me, we're in it for the long haul now. We've got to make it work. So we're going to work really super hard and we're going to make this happen. We're just going to do it. We got this. You and me, we can do it. I believe in us. We're, we're going to be great. You're along for the ride, right? Okay. If you're along for the ride, hit the thumbs up so I know. If I don't see you before, I'll see you on Wednesday. Me and Bobby, the cap guy, doing our live show. Would love to have you there. We can chat more about my new full-time job and whatever else you want eBay. Have a great night, guys. I'm officially now living my dream.